and please welcome to the stage, Nelson Gumba Gumba! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, do I sound, do I sound sexy? <laughs> good evening, ladies. Good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, let's just get some stuff out of the way. Uh, the first few minutes are going to be very rough. Uh, I'll be very gentle, and uh, if we work together, we can both create something beautiful and reach, reach a beautiful climax. So let's all just come together right now because I'm nervous, you're nervous. It's like trying to break some middle ground. Okay. I am very nervous right now. Uh, I haven't been this nervous since my girlfriend introduced me to her parents. Uh, her father gave me an IQ test. Uh, I think it's because I wear size 12 shoes, really. Uh, <laughs> why else would you give your daughter's boyfriend an IQ test? Uh, it was the strangest IQ test. The first question was, uh, why do you speak like that? Uh, the, the second question was, how much weed have you smoked today? The third question is, the third question was, uh, when does your visa expire? <laughs> Unlucky for her parents, I don't have a visa <laughs> or a passport, so I guess me and her are stuck together forever. <laughs> it's true love, really. Uh, yeah, I, I am very nervous right now. Uh, my name is Nelson Tinashe Gombakumba Jr. the second. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the, the thing is, right, uh, nothing makes sense anymore. I, I'm very scared of living in this world because uh, everything is just crazy. Nothing makes sense anymore. Uh, I'm always walking around with a smile, and I'll just explain briefly what it's about. Um, you know when someone says something three times and you're like, I beg your pardon? Uh, again? Hello, I didn't hear that. And after the third time you just start smiling because nothing makes sense anymore. Uh, see, that's why I'm always walking around with a smile because nothing makes sense anymore really. Uh, I recently got awarded the laziest student of the year. Uh, I, will, I won the award of the laziest student of the year. Uh, I didn't collect it. I, I was... <laughs> I was in bed all day. Okay, um, yes, uh, nothing makes sense anymore. Uh, I'm originally from Zimbabwe, and people are always saying, Nelson, why don't you make fun of Robert Mugabe, the president of Zimbabwe, Nelson? Tell us a joke about him. But the thing is, you never know who's listening in in the audience. So, um, my, my president, if you're listening right now, I just want to say, Mr. Mugabe, thank you for teaching me that I can be anything I want to be in life. And uh, I can achieve any of my ambitions and not care what white people think. <laughs> The, the round of applause, that's comedy is equivalent to the human orgasm. <laughs> so, a lady's all tight, second round is about to come. Um, <laughs> thing is, right, thing is, my president Robert Mugabe and Barack Obama have beef, you know, they're always disagreeing about stuff, especially gay rights. Um, the last time I checked, my president Robert Mugabe was like, if Barack Obama wants gay rights in Africa, he should come all the way from America and marry Robert Mugabe himself. Uh, which is the weirdest marriage proposal, even by African standards. Uh, <laughs> When Barack Obama received the text message, he was like, uh, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I just want to focus on my career. We, we barely know each other. 
Yes, sir. Uh, see, I had a first-hand experience of the matter when I had my, my, my prostate exam. Um, I walked into the doctor's office and there were rose petals all over the floor. <laughs> and, and, and there was a candle lit dinner. He took my pants off and I was like, blimey. Goodness me, doctor, that's rather unprofessional, that is. I turn British when I'm scared. I turn French when I surrender. Okay, so, yeah, that's round three, ladies, all time. Uh, Thing is, thing is, right, nothing really makes sense anymore, man. Do you know that, right, they don't show charity ads in Africa. All those band-aid, all those poor kids in Africa adverts, they're only shown in England because, you know, they don't show them in Africa. And, you know, I, I kept asking myself this question. Why do they show charity ads in England and not in Africa? And I came up with a solution. See, if they showed charity ads in Africa, no one in Africa would be able to borrow money. Conversations in, <laughs> conversations in Africa would be going as follows. <clears throat> hey man, can I borrow some money, man? Mombutu, I saw you on TV yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I saw you on TV asking white people for money, Mombutu. <laughs> You must have a lot of money. <laughs> hey man, come on man, that wasn't me. That was my brother. Mobutu, stop lying. You're wearing the same t-shirt, Mobutu. <laughs> hey man, come on, may I have some money? Two dollars, please? Mobutu, why are you speaking in an American accent? Uh, I need to work on my American accent for that joke to be funny. But anyway, <laughs> let's go. Um, I, 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 yeah, so things don't make sense anymore. See, there's this zoo in China, right, that got this panda. This is a foreign panda. It's not part of the zoo. It just go into the zoo, right? But it's a clever panda, see? It started get, it, it, it realized that to get the benefits, it had to fake pregnancies. So it started faking pregnancy and, and getting better housing, be, getting better health care, <laughs> getting better everything, better resources. And so the time to give birth came and uh, there was no baby panda because it was faking pregnancy. The other animals in the zoo saw this and they were like, all these foreigners coming over here, <laughs> taking our stock, taking our benefits, how dare they? So, so uh, yeah man, nothing makes sense anymore. But, ladies and gentlemen, there are things that give me hope. Uh, there is this man in England that you're always looking for. His name is Wally. You're always like, where's Wally? Where is he? You're always looking for this man. So I started dressing up as where's Wally to hide from immigration. Um, <laughs> it, it's a game I like to call where's Nelly. <laughs> See, there was this day, right, um, I was standing at the bus stop and my friends kept saying, yo Nelson, the bus driver keeps uh, driving past you, man, that's racist. I was standing there and I waved at the bus. He drove, he drove past the first time. My friends were like, yo man, that's racist, what you gonna do? So I stood there again, waved at the bus, second time, bus driver drove past. My friends are like, yo man, this racist man, what you gonna do? So I stood there again, waved at the bus the third time. He just drove past. My friends are like, yo man, this racist man, what you gonna do? So I turned to them and I was like, no man, that's not racist. They just couldn't see me because I was dressed up as well as one hiding <laughs> from immigration. Okay, uh, now, now, now it's time to move on to the stuff people actually pay money for. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you a story about how I came from Africa to England. It's a very sad, touching story. Um, 
it, the thing is, we were on a boat and the boat capsized and all my family, all my wives drowned. <laughs> that's, that's more funny, guys. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, the, the boat capsized and all my wives died, except for one wife. Now, I have a question for the audience. Why is it always the ugly wife who survives, man? <laughs> I, I had many wives! I had, but see, when I noticed it was the ugly wife who survived, I tried to drown myself in the ocean. But, but she saw me, she was like, she swam back and carried me back to shore. So uh, the moral of the story is, if you're ugly, you gotta learn how to swim, baby. Um, I am very nervous, nothing makes sense anymore. It's like, a, it's, it's an identical thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've all been pretty. We reached that beautiful climax now. Power to the people! Yes, I shared good personal hygiene, which is the only thing I look for in a woman, apart from a British passport, obviously. <laughs> yes, uh... <laughs>